Hi everyone, uh, welcome to this uh, YouTube clip. Uh, I'm gonna be sharing a intervention, a play therapy intervention that I do often that uses Legos. Uh, and this play therapy intervention is called Lego Strengths. Actually, it's a strengths-based intervention. So this is a type of intervention that I do oftentimes, maybe early on in therapy, uh, with clients to help them identify some of their strengths and then also to help me identify their strengths and know what some of their strengths are because whatever the child does have as strengths, things that they're good at, that they like to do uh, as they come into therapy, so often those can be used to really help meet the therapy goals. Another reason why I love to do this is that piece where the child recognizes their strengths because a lot of the kids that I see who come in, especially uh, a lot of neurodivergent kids, don't really get those messages. Many of them don't really understand their strengths. They don't recognize their strengths. And sometimes they don't even really uh, know that they have strengths. And typically a lot of what they're getting in terms of feedback from adults in their life uh, is around what they're doing wrong, you know, what they're not doing well, maybe what they're getting in trouble for. And so oftentimes they're not hearing about their strengths, what they do well, what they possess. That is a strength that is good that they accomplish, right? So this is a really nice intervention to do uh, for a few different reasons. It doesn't have to, uh, this concept doesn't have to be done with Legos. I'm going to show you an intervention that uses Legos because a lot of the clients that I work with really like Legos. It really is their play preference. And so we're working out of their play preference and using that in our structured play therapy intervention. So the instructions are pretty simple. The idea is we're going to make a build and I build as well. We both build the child and myself. And if the parent is present, they will do a build as well. So the instructions are, we're gonna make a Lego build that describes one or more of our strengths, right? So the build can be anything. It can look any way. It can be something real. It can be something concrete, uh, like a real thing that exists that somehow describes one or more of the child's strengths or it can be completely uh, abstract. It doesn't have to be anything real. It can be just an original design, an original build, and the way the child builds it or the colors they use can explain or describe one or more of their strengths. So a little caveat here, when I introduce this intervention to kids, I don't always use the word strengths uh, because again, some of the kids I see, I mean, they don't know what their strengths are and they may not be able to move forward in creating anything. So oftentimes I'll say things like, make a build about the things that you know that you really like to do, things that you like to spend your time doing. Or I might say something that you know that you can do well or that you've accomplished before. I'll use sort of language like that to help them conceptualize what we want out of uh, the Lego build. And they're free to ask questions uh, to get further clarification or information, of course. But sometimes it helps if you kind of describe what you mean by strings. Sometimes I use this statement. I say, think about if you woke up tomorrow and you could do anything that you wanted to do. The day was free for you to choose to do whatever you wanted to do, how you wanted to do it. What would you do in that day? Sometimes just those types of questions really help um, you see what the child's strengths are. Because oftentimes they'll be putting their time into things that are their strengths. And so that may help you to describe it in that way. Okay, think about those things and then that's what you are putting into your strengths build, right? 
So I want to give you a couple of examples. I did this with my son, who's always willing to be a helper for me. And so we did the strings Legos and I explained the concept to him. And so I built one and he built one. And this is what my build came out to be. It's got a little thing on it that spins. And I was thinking of this just one strength that I was going to focus on, and that was problem solving. That just kind of popped into my head as something that I feel like um, I have a good strength in. And so I put together sort of this little machine. I actually found this top part kind of already designed in our Lego box, and I thought this is perfect. It's sort of like a problem solving machine is how I would describe it that you can stick your problem in and spin it and it will shoot out a solution to you. <laughs> uh, so this is what I created to kind of represent me identifying problem solving as my strength. So nothing too big or radical, but a good representation for my brain uh, at the time that I made this. And then my son built this. It was a bit more uh, with it and creative and elaborate for me. And actually, his strength was creative. Uh, that's the one that he focused on and that he built something to describe his creativity. He is a very creative guy, for sure. I already knew that as a strength of his. And so we built this sort of like castle with different colors and you can see that you can go inside of it. It also has a back and uh, it, it represented his strength of creativity. And it came out really cool actually. I've actually been hanging on to this one uh, ever since he made it because I just, I, I love it. I think it looks so cool. Uh, so you can see that They'll come out in different ways. It may be kind of abstract. The strength may be based on the colors the child use. It may be based on the shape or the design. It may be something that they make that's representative of something real or maybe not. It doesn't really matter. There's no rules in that regard. We just want a child to kind of go where they're going to go uh, and then be able to talk about and share things that they're good at or a strength that they have. And it can be more than one. You know, in this example, we each just chose one thing, but it doesn't have to just be one thing. It could be something that's built and then it has several pieces in it that describe multiple strengths or things that the person is good at. And that's totally okay as well. So this is called Strengths Legos. A uh, really nice play therapy intervention. Again, something that I like to do sometimes in earlier sessions because I want to know, you know, what the child's strengths are. And I want to start working on helping them identify things they're good at, things that they have success with, right? Things that are their strengths. So that can really start to improve some of their self-worth uh, needs and increasing their own self-esteem. So uh, thanks for watching. And uh, I have other intervention ideas on this YouTube channel. I just made one recently that was Feelings uh, Legos, uh, another Lego-based intervention. So check that out. And please subscribe to our channel. I love getting new subscribers. And you can follow me and more about Alt Play Therapy on the Alt Play Therapy Facebook page and the Robert Jason Grant EDD Facebook page. And I'll put the link in here for the Alt Play Therapy website as well. So thanks for watching. We will hopefully see you back uh, and some other videos. Bye.